Simon Young, I'm Executive Chef of the Jumeirah Carlton Tower in Knightsbridge. My role is to oversee and manage a large team of people. I got here eight years ago, um, it hadn't had an Executive Chef for some time, so it was a bit of a bum fight, um, you know, payroll was out of line and food costs was out of line and, and, I, and I think quality wasn't quite there, consistency wasn't quite there. Initially I was cooking everywhere um, and I think after about six months I realised that actually this really wasn't going to get me anywhere in terms of delivering what my bosses wanted and I needed to get the right cooks around me who could cook what I wanted. Um, so yeah, it just goes back to surrounding myself with really good people got a fantastic executive sous chef here who really in all honesty runs the, the kitchens here on a day-to-day -day basis and, and I'm, I'm looking at the bigger picture. A uh, very good pastry chef who's, who's a good all-rounder, you know, he does the production for the restaurant, he does great banqueting, um, banqueting desserts. You know, we talk about banqueting here, what we're trying to deliver is a restaurant experience, not a banqueting experience. I employed a great head chef, a guy called Ian Rudge, who we'll meet later. Um, who I trialled lots of people for this position and they cook for me and Ian got it absolutely right. My name's Ian Mudge, I work at the Jamiro Carlton Town, the head chef of the Rib Runt. Uh, and the dish we're cooking today is roasted limbs with duck with parsnip puree, wild mushrooms and roasted root vegetables. We're just going to take out the wishbone like you would do of any bird. So what we're going to do is going to quickly remove the, the legs. Uh, it's probably one of the best selling main course dishes. We sell a lot of meat here at the Rib Room. Uh, so you may be looking at maybe 40, 50 of these a week. So we find that the actual, uh, the breast bone of the bird, keeping against the bone. So here is the, the comp, we're going to rub them in a mixture of salt, pepper, lemon zest, juniper berries, some thyme, some garlic and some arrow mats all mixed together into, into a powder. We're going to rub that into the, into the leg and into the neck, we're going to leave it for about 8 hours and then we're going to then cook them in comp. The skin side is obviously relevant but uh, the, the best side for future coffee is obviously the flesh side. Five outlets in total which is which consists of banqueting which is up to 400 covers, 24-hour um, room service, the rib room, um, the chinoiserie and the club room. Here we go we have the duck it's out the fridge now it's been there for eight hours it's marinated. Wab off that excess uh, the excess sauce and the excess marinade that hasn't made its way into the duck. So we're just going to put that in there like that as you can see, the oil just, cut, just comes over the top. We don't want too much. Okay, so we don't want to lose too much heat like that. We're just going to keep it like that. So then the, the fat will render out the duck, go back into the oil, and cook the, the flesh very gently. So this is the Charvet sweet. Uh, we decided to use Charvet for the ribbon because they're a very bespoke company. They're a French-based company, and uh, they, they tend to fit in with what you need. Where you, with a normal company, it's very much this is what we do in the sizes we do them in. Charvet the opposite. They're like, where, what do you want, and what's, how big is the space do you want it in? And then they make that happen in that space. And I put a Charvet in. I think originally it was in banqueting, and um, it's reliable, it's consistent, it's robust. Um, and now if you walk around the kitchens here, all, all seven kitchens, every kitchen is now Charvet stoves. So we're just going to remove it from the oil. The way we're going to just check it is, you know, there's many ways, but you just give that tone, that bone there a little twist and it just falls out. So this is, a, this is how we're going to wrap it. Wrap it nice and tight from the top and at the same time we're going to squash from the bottom. This has now been in the fridge, it's now set. So we're going to just take off the cling film and we're just going to uh, get some potato strings off it. Get your duck. Wrap it round. Okay, so now we're going to do a bit of work with the vegetables. So we've got the parsnips now. Uh, we've sweated them down in a bit of uh, butter. Pour my puree into there. But now we're going to concentrate on the duck breast. So what we're going to do with that, we're just going to put it into a pan. Okay, so now the duck breast renders fat. You can see it's just starting to crispen up now. So what we're going to do now is wrap it in some clean film ready for the water bath. So we're just going to saute the mushrooms in a little bit of butter, the roasted root vegetables in there. So we've got baby turnips and some baby, uh, baby pan with a bit of uh, sauternes or a dessert wine. Added some duck stock, reduced it down and then we've passed it off. And then we're just going to, lovely there, we've got a lovely amber stew ready to go. And then to that we're just going to add a few dried grapes. We're just going to add the, the parsnip puree to the plate now. We're just going to do a nice swoosh there. Then we're going to assemble. So obviously keeping the duck breast facing the guest. Crispy duck leg there which we've uh, lightly fried. So the root vegetables, a few of the wild mushrooms on top, a few bits of baby watercress just to give it a bit of freshness to the dish. 
and also this will just help bring out the colour. So now the raisins have been in the dew for a bit, they've started to plump up slightly, they've absorbed some of that sauce, you know, they're not, they're not the, the hard raisins you see in the shop. And I'm just going to just finish it with a bit of sauce. And there we have it, we have roasted looms with duck breast, with roasted root vegetables, parsnip puree and wild mushrooms.